this video, we are going to see how to calculate work experience in Excel. So we all know in our resume, so uh, we'll give our uh, experience, like for two years and five months, or three years and two months, something like that. So we are going to see how to calculate that. So before we go to start off with, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates. So let's begin. I have a set of data over here, wherein I have the details of one particular person. And this is the organization with the person in different organization where he or she has worked on the joining date and the relieving date. So we are going to calculate the number of years and the months and the days. Usually this days will not be using uh, in resumes but still I will show you how to calculate. So place your cursor in D3. So start off with equal sign. We are making use of data diff function in order to calculate here. So type data diff open brackets so my joining date comma my relieving date or the end date comma now in quotations give it as y so y for years and close bracket and then press enter and there you go and it has given you the number of years so the number of years is one year between this date and this date now we'll calculate month so we are making use of the same function which is data diff function open brackets my joining date comma relieving date comma quotations i'll type it as m this will not give me the actual result but i'll show you what happens if you give it as m close brackets and then press enter once you press enter now we should make sure that the formatting is set to general here you can see the format is there as day that is the reason i'm getting day so quickly i'll change it to general now it is showing the number of months as 12 that means from jan 2012 to 25th jan 2013 it is showing there are 12 months but that is what i need i require after one year how many months this particular employee has worked so in order to do that just double click to edit the formula here instead of m give it as y m so this will actually detect the number of years and give only the months and then press enter it is showing it as zero because uh, from jan 12 to jan 13 there are no months left after a year now the same procedure follows in order to calculate days so start off with equal sign i am again making use of the same function data diff open brackets this is my joining date comma this is my relieving date comma in quotations give it as y d close the quotations close brackets and then press enter and it is telling that it is four days i'll just explain you uh, quickly how exactly it is showing it as four days from 21st jan till 21st jan 2013 so the employer has completed one complete year after that there are no months left but between 21 jan to 25th jan there are four days left that is what it is showing okay now in order to calculate uh, for all the other organization just select this press and place your cursor at the bottom right corner you can see that the shape of the cursor has changed to small plus sign now just double click okay once you double click it automatically gets calculated for the other range well range as well but if in case you can see the last for the last organization it is giving it as value why because you can see for e limited we are given the joining date as it's still 19 but for relieving date we are giving till present till present in the sense still uh, the employee is there in that particular organization and if you give like this excel will not calculate it now how will you calculate that you can uh, either type it as uh, today's date or you can just make use of today function all right just uh, press tab key so automatically the function gets selected and also parenthesis gets open close brackets and then press enter so today's date is 30th of may so accordingly it has given you the number of years months and days okay so this is how you calculate years months and days but in some cases if in case uh, your hr and you are maintaining your uh, details something like this which i have it in my sheet too 
I have employee day, joining date and their relieving date in the previous, uh, previous organization. And you might want your um, date or output to be uh, to appear something like this. So how to do that is what we are going to look now. It's the same formula. I'll just uh, quickly show you for the year and month. Okay, so for uh, days, uh, I'll not show. Okay, so I'll go to sheet one and show you how this calculation will go about. Okay, so equals, it's the same formula. I'm not doing anything new. And this is the joining date, comma, relieving date, comma, within uh, quotations, I'll give it as Y. And then close bracket. This is a formula we have already learned. Now I want to, this formula will give you the year as uh, 1, which is shown here. After 1, I want year to be added. So just make use of ampersand and then quotations. Give it as yes because I want it as yes. Again, ampersand. Now again, make use of uh, dative function. Open brackets. This is the joining date. Comma, this is the relieving date. Comma, in quotations, type it as YM for number of months. Close quotations, close brackets. Now, this part, this part of my formula will calculate the number of months, which is zero. After that, I want months to be added. So, make use of ampersand sign. In quotations, type it as months. Close the quotations. And then press enter. Once you press enter, just double click here in order to accommodate the entire thing. You can see the uh, the output is appearing as I wanted. So just double click. It will automatically get calculated for all the other things. And one more thing to be noted here is you can see after one year, zero months, there is no space here. If in case you want to space, uh, just double click the formula. Within quotations, that is wherever you are given um, years, place your cursor there and just press your space bar. Again in months, again press space bar and then press enter. You can see now there is a little bit of gap after years and months. Okay, so just double click and the formula gets updated. So thank you for watching my video. Do not forget to like and share.